you know, when I was teaching at Duke, at first I was teaching ethics and policy, and that was it was the first ethics and policy full course in any po policy program in the country. So there was a lot to do, a lot to figure out, and I was having a great time with it. But at the same time, I was involved with Alex Harris in documentary work. He would teach documentary photography, and I would teach documentary literature along with it. And I was teaching with Robert Coles, who we would, who we would recruited to come down. And he and I taught a course together for a fairly long time, uh, every spring. And um, so I was more involved in literature than I had been for a while. And that was exciting to me. I found that my students had great narrative memories. And if you could attach the theoretical stuff to the stories, they could remember all the theoretical stuff as well. And so I was teaching novels and short stories and pieces of history in my ethics course. And then when I got to teaching about leadership, I wanted to teach drama. I wanted to teach plays because the great literature about leadership, the really great literature in the early days was Sophocles and Aeschylus and Euripides and then Shakespeare. There's also political theorists like Machiavelli and, and others, but uh, I wanted to teach about leadership and the humanities. And so I, find, I found myself uh, uh, pretty regularly, including things like Antigone or King Lear on my syllabus. But my life in the arts, my interest in paintings and drawings and sculpture, and my interest in music, uh, was really a kind of vacation thing. And then one day, I was walking across the campus in front of the library, and I ran into Governor Sanford. And, uh, uh, and he said, Bruce, been meaning to talk to you. Uh, I'd like you to think about teaching a course with Nancy. Could you do that? <laughs> and I, I was stopped for a minute. I thought, what does he mean? And then I realized, he must, and I said, you mean Nancy Hanks? Well, Nancy Hanks was the chair of the National Endowment for the Arts. This was during the Nixon years when Nixon was pretty unpopular on campuses, but the National Endowment was a real ornament of the Nixon administration under Nancy Hanks, who had been a Rockefeller operative before that. In the turn of time, I taught a course, and Nancy did indeed come down for it. And I tried out various things. I wanted that to be a seminar not just about arts policy narrowly conceived, not just about the argument that was going on, but about the place of the arts in American life. Uh, who pays for this stuff? Who cares about it? What's the deep audience for the arts like? What's the value of it? Well, uh, the value of it is developing our capacities as human beings for seeing, for feeling. It's opening up those sources of joy and insight that is knowledge about the world that is really knowledge about ourselves. It's, it's all about who am I? What do I care about? One of the great things is that we don't have to have all the background. We don't have to know all about the art. We can start wherever it interests us. And we can work forward into future times of it or back into past times of it or into arts that are connected with it. We'll never know anything but a small portion of the arts.